Hello, saints. I wanted to share with you a little bit from 1 Corinthians today, um, a very well-known passage um, that is often heard at weddings from 1 Corinthians 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Or in other translations, love never fails. Um, like I said, this is often shared at weddings. Um, it's a beautiful tribute to the way that Christians are to treat one another. Um, but it really was not written about romantic love at all. Indeed, it was written by Paul to a quarreling church to show the earliest Christians how to get along with one another. Um, if Jesus is all about love, he would teach them. What does that really look like in community? And I was thinking about this passage today and thinking, how does this apply when it comes to living in community or in a nation or a state or a church, even in a time of pandemic? And I think that each of these um, sections and verses of this passage really speak to us in different ways. Love is patient. Um, I have had to learn patience in lots of new ways during quarantine, um, not only with just riding out this situation as a whole, um, but with my family, uh, with others, with neighbors, um, with trying to get things done when it feels like nothing is fully ever finished and projects just keep going forever. Uh, love is kind. Um, a simple reminder to us that if we are to show the love of Christ in a stressful time, we must remember to be kind to one another. Love is not envious. Uh, I guess that means not to look askance at a neighbor who might be having an easier time in quarantine. Maybe uh, not, not being boastful is the next part. Maybe not boasting that you got your stimulus check and somebody else didn't. Um, or arrogant or rude. Somebody shared with me, and like to share this as a devotion another day, we're all in the same storm, but we are not all in the same boat. Each one of us, each family, each family member is riding out the storm in a different way um, because we have different circumstances. Some of us are essential workers. Some of us are healthcare workers. Some of us can stay at home. Some of us are working. Some of us are furloughed. Some of us are retired. Um, some of us are very scared. Some of us are taking it easy. Um, and so I think in a situation that is as varied um, as the responses are to this situation, we have to remember not to be envious of another situation or to be boastful or arrogant of our own. Um, the verse goes on, it, love does not insist on its own way. There are lots of different ways to go about being safe and keeping others safe, keeping yourself safe and going out into the community. And everybody has their own opinion about what the best, best way forward is to proceed right now. And um, I think that we all have to trust our own instincts, but as 1 Corinthians says, not to insist on our own way for others, but just to let people, um, navigate this the best they know how for themselves and their families. Paul goes on, um, it is not irritable or resentful. Those are things that I think go hand in hand with patience. Um, if you are sharing a house with somebody or even sharing a street or a hallway with other people, um, it's easy to get irritable or resentful of the way they may be coming or going, the things that they may be doing. Um, and if we are to be acting out of love, we need to learn to find that peace, to take a deep breath and to ask the Lord to help us to rise above irritability and resentfulness, even though of course that is very natural during a stressful time like this. It goes on, it does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Just like I was saying that we all have our own way, um, 
to navigate this pandemic, um, each community, each leader, each state, each country has its own way of dealing with it. And I think that often uh, we're finding people politicizing this and rejoicing in what they see as the wrongdoing of somebody else. Um, but Paul invites us as Christians to rise above that and instead rejoice only in the truth, um, to only speak what we know to be actually true, to only share on social media the things that we know to be based in fact um, that will build others up and not tear others down. And so I think that even though it's very easy, um, because we all have our own opinions, we all have our own sides, it's very easy to rejoice in what we think is the wrongdoing of someone else and to point to our own opinion as the only right one. Um, as Christians, we are called to, um, to take a higher road and to rise above some of that petty bickering. And then <laughs> the, the end, the finale of this passage, love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. And I think that can be a little misleading. It doesn't mean that we believe in everything and that we hope for everything or endure everything. It just means that we, we bear all in our heart. We believe for all. We hope for all we endure through it all um, and in the end love never ends or I like the translation uh, love never fails there are a lot of trial and error in this pandemic and some of the things are going to work and some are not but you know what will never fail love if we rise above if we act out of love our actions will not fail